we were talking about the resistance measurement and uh, in resistance measurement we, we had already discussed uh, we had already discussed uh, in resistance measurement we were discussing the uh, medium resistance uh, measurement first of all we classified the, the resistances on the basis of uh, um, uh, on the basis of uh, measurement uh, um, on the basis of measurement and uh, then the most uh, uh, simplest uh, range from measurement point of view is the moderate range medium range uh, that uh, broadly uh, from uh, means range is from 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohm uh, this 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 particular range is considered as uh, the uh, easiest range from measurement point point of view um, they are not having much issue um, but the extremes if you go to this extreme lower stream or the higher extreme then they are having different issues measurement issues for the accurate measurement so we require special methods you can say means uh, these uh, methods cannot be uh, the simple methods or the, the regular methods that is used for measurement of medium resistance cannot be used as it is uh, unless until we modify these methods uh, to address the issues associated with the uh, extreme ranges so anyway we are still discussing discussing the different method uh, used for the measurement of uh, uh, medium resistance so first of all we discussed the voltmeter meter method that method method is uh, uh, one of the simplest method and uh, cheapest method you can see uh, then uh, that methods uh, what is the issue and how can we tackle that within the method uh, and then we discuss everything and uh, then we second method is uh, a substitution method that we discussed on the last turn and uh, this method um, is considered better than the uh, first method that is your voltmeter meter method uh, and there is a reason for that so whatever means you can say that motivation for the substitution method um, I am not aware but uh, could be the the limitation of the voltmeter meter method uh, whatever uh, limitations your voltmeter meter method is having uh, that is taken care of here uh, although substitution method is having its own uh, issue uh, so here in this case uh, the, the main uh, problem associated with the voltmeter meter method that is leading to the imperfection in that method is uh, use of two meters so we reduce that meter from two meter to one meter uh, we came here we are having only one measuring instrument that is a meter in this case and circuit is very simple but additional resource that is required in this case is stand variable standard variable resistance so as i told you that it is a two step process first of all um, we measure uh, the uh, we connect the unknown resistance r and we measure the uh, current and then uh, we switch over to the standard we connect the standard resistance with the help of switch and your unknown resistance is disconnected and then again without disturbing anything in the in the circuit we try we will vary only the standard resistance so that we can get the same amount of current in the circuit which which was flowing when the uh, unknown resistance was connected and obviously when uh, when uh, same current will flow then r will be will be equal to s that where s is known so this is how this is so whatever <coughs> So all these things we, we had already discussed in the last turn. So this is the situation. So in this case, uh, if you look uh, on uh, uh, whatever problem your previous method was having, uh, your old meter, that is not present here. And uh, from meter uh, accuracy point of also, uh, here we are having only one meter. So the meter uh, means only a meter we are having. Over there we were having the... Uh, voltmeter and ammeter so from uh, voltmeter ammeter inaccuracy present in the meters that is also get reduced because uh, when you are having two meters so so both will have their own uh, 
um, uh, inaccuracies and that will that will be added up so from that point of view also the, then uh, this method is although is not having it's better than the volt meter meter method but uh, what is the limitation of this method that uh, i discussed on the this thing also we discussed on the last turn uh, as you can see that this is a two step uh, method means this method is having uh, two step measurement uh, first of all we measure um, uh, means we make the measurement by connecting the switch to the to the unknown resistance and then after taking the reading then we go to the second one second uh, means we we connect the so during this time means when we are taking it is essential that your excitation should not get changed and this is this is basically a very uh, pertinent issue many times you will find uh, so the, your excitation should not change and if your excitation will change then this simple r is equal to s will not work i, I discussed this on the last time i am not repeating it unless until somebody is having some problem uh, with it so i discuss all this i recapitulated whatever we discussed about this method on the last time i quickly uh, recapitulated everything now if anybody is having any question regarding this method you can ask ji am i audible to all of you yes sir yes sir and slide is also visible yes sir so so if anybody is having any any question you can ask me and if you don't have then we can move ahead okay so i i'm assuming that all of you are comfortable with the topic then i'm moving ahead one problem a small problem is there in a measurement of resistance on, on the substitution method of uh, of course in a measurement of resistance by substitution method a standard 0.5 mega ohm resistance is used the galvanometer has resistance of 10 kilo ohm and uh, um, gives deflection and this galvanometer uh, means different connection uh, gives the deflection with a standard resistance 41 dvs with unknown resistance 51 dvs so you can see that if you you go through this problem uh you find that this uh, whatever uh, experimental setup which is described in this problem it is different uh, from this one and the method is also so here in this case instead of uh, to make it more uh, to make it more uh, you can say um, sensitive instead of ammeter galvanometer is used here galvanometer and fixed resistance is used this standard resistance is fixed not variable uh, so in this case uh, they are taking a reading uh, when it is connected to the unknown resistance when it is connected to the standard resistance and the deflection obviously your galvanometer is a absolute type of instrument it is not cali calibrated so deflection in terms of response is given in terms of the deflection so that's what it is here when a standard resistance is connected then 41 division and uh, with unknown resistance 51 division. how can you measure the unknown resistance can any it's a very simple thing you can see that uh, circuit remains same whatever circuit uh, you are having here only thing is that we have changed the uh, replaced the ammeter uh, by galvanometer and this is not we are not making the current equal and so 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 uh we we are getting two different because these two resistances are different so so you are, we are getting two different deflections that deflection is so how can we now how can we measure the unknown resistance ji batai koi bhi batai thoda sa dimag lagaiye think apply yourself हाँ भाई अप्लाई नहीं करना चाहते हैं सर थोड़ा सोचा है गिव इट 
सर गैल्वेनोमीटर के डिफ्लेक्शन का यूज कर सकते हैं ना गैल्वेनोमीटर का ही डिफ्लेक्शन है ये ये जो दिया जा रहा है ये 41 डिवीजन जब आपका मतलब सर्किट कुछ ऐसा है सर्किट में आपका ये गैल्वेनोमीटर लगा दिया जाता है और फिर वो ये आपका स्टैंडर्ड रेजिस्टेंस हो गया ये अननोन रेजिस्टेंस हो गया ये स्टैंडर्ड रेजिस्टेंस हो गया अब हम इसमें करंट इक्वल नहीं बना रहे हैं एक बार जब अननोन रेजिस्टेंस में कनेक्ट हो रहा है बहुत सिंपल सा सर्किट है आप सब लोग जानते होंगे ये सर्किट है जब आप ने अननोन पे लगाया तो ये गैलोनोमीटर ने 51 डिवीजन डिफ्लेक्शन दिया और जब यहां को स्टैंडर्ड पे लगा दिया तो इसने 41 डिवीजन दिया अब ये हमें आर की वैल्यू मालूम करनी है और एस की वैल्यू देखिए आपको दी हुई है है ना एंड दिस इज इसमें सर वोल्टेज जो रहेगा सर सर नॉन रेजिस्टेंस के केस में सर वो तो सेम रहेगा सर रेजिस्टेंस की वैल्यू हमें पता है गैलोनोमीटर की भी और सर स्टैंडर्ड की भी सर उसकी मदद से हम अननोन मतलब एक जनरल वैल्यू वोल्टेज के लिए हम करंट की वैल्यू निकाल लेंगे 41 डिवीजन के अकॉर्डिंग मतलब कि जो स्टैंडर्ड रेजिस्टेंस के लिए फार्मूला क्या होगा क्या लगाओगे यस सर फार्मूला क्या होगा सर सिंपल v इक्वल्स टू i से इस्तेमाल करेंगे सर वहां पर वोल्टेज की कोई अननोन मतलब ऐसे जनरल वैल्यू मान लेंगे और सर जो रेजिस्टेंस की नॉन वैल्यू है गैल्वेनोमीटर की और स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू सर उसकी मदद से करंट की वैल्यू निकाल लेंगे एंड सर वो जो वैल्यू होगी वो 41 डिफ्लेक्शन के मतलब अकॉर्डिंग होगी एंड सर सिमिलरली देखिए आपका जो डिफ्लेक्शन है यस सर जो गैल्वेनोमीटर का डिफ्लेक्शन है आपने गैल्वेनोमीटर पढ़ा होगा पिछले कोर्स में इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू करंट यस सर इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू करंट और ऑबवियसली इट विल बी इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू रेजिस्टेंस द सर्किट रेजिस्टेंस रेजिस्टेंस बस आप थीटा वन और अपॉन थीटा टू ले लीजिए ठीक है ना थीटा वन अपॉन बाकी सारी चीजें तो कॉमन रहेंगी ये सब प्रोपोर्शन में आ जाएगी इजिकल टू आर टू अपॉन क्योंकि इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल है तो आर टू अपॉन आर वन इसमें से एक हमको मालूम है और एक नहीं मालूम वही किया है यहाँ पे देख ठीक है इट्स वेरी इजी तो कॉमन सेंस की बात है ना इसमें कोई बहुत ज्यादा रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है तो अगेन आई एम आई एम कमिंग बैक ठीक है भाई किसी को प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं इस 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 सोल्यूशन में किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं कोई क्वेश्चन हो कोई कंफ्यूजन हो कोई वो वो पूछ ली सो आई एम आई एम समराइजिंग दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड इज मतलब एज फार एज इश्यू इज कंसर्न इट इज ओनली एक्साइटेशन इन दिस केस आल्सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम आल्सो वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट द एक्साइटेशन रिमेंस कांस्टेंट and if there is any any variation in excitation then obviously it will lead to the error in the vision mode now we we took care of uh, the problem associated with the voltmeter meter method by having substitution method this substitution method is able to take care of the issues in voltmeter meter method very effectively and better method now it is also having one issue that is uh, variation in excitation how can you deal with this this uh, can you suggest any method which uh, is uh, not affected by the variation means agar variation ho jaye excitation mein tab bhi koi problem measurement it should not affect the measurement koi method bata sakte ho
means your observations will remain unaffected by variation in excitation. Anybody? Nahi bata. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to give the answer to this question. Uh, I, I'll, I'll try to. So now the next method is uh, Wheatstone Bridge. And I want that uh, um, because you are already aware of uh, from 10th class or from 11th class, uh, you are studying Wheatstone Bridge. And first engineering also, you must have studied Wheatstone Bridge. Uh, um, in physics and you must have performed the experiment in 12, 11, 12 or and in uh, as well as uh, in uh, physics laboratory in engineering first year also. So can you tell me, first of all, you reveal whatever you know about the Wheatstone brain. Ah, but I, I. वीट स्टोन ब्रिज के बारे में जो भी आपको मालूम है वो थोड़ा मुझे बताइए सर वीट स्टोन ब्रिज में सर वी हैव फोर रेजिस्टेंस एंड ओके दे आर कनेक्टेड इन द ब्रिज कॉन्फ्रेशन एंड देयर इज अ गैल्वेनोमीटर इन द मिडल सो सर द कांसेप्ट इज दैट वंस एवर द रेजिस्टेंस इन बोथ द साइड्स आर प्रोपोर्शनल एंड द प्रोपोर्शनलिटी इज इक्वल सो द करंट इन द गैल्वेनोमीटर विल बी जीरो सो दैट्स बेसिकली द कांसेप्ट एंड यूजिंग दैट वी कैन फाइंड द अननोन रेजिस्टेंस ओके Can any would anybody want to add or modify whatever Fahad told just now? कोई इसको modify करना है या कुछ और add करना चाहता है? अरे what do you mean by bridge balance condition? What do you understand? If uh, if we are balancing the bridge, what exactly we are doing? So actually, we are balancing the current that are flowing in the two arms. Means uh, uh, on the there are uh, there is a bridge configuration. So there are resistance on both the sides. So in case the resistance on both the sides are equal, so the current they will carry will be equal, such that the current in the middle that is the galvanometer arm will be zero. But always uh, means this is one of the balancing condition that uh, your bridge uh, resistances should be equal. Uh, but uh, this is not the only uh, bridge balancing uh, situation. Many, many, many combination of different resistances makes this not necessary. Yes, sir, that's possible. So that's what I I want to know. Uh, there, there are there are the thirty five students only. You are speaking. Nobody okay. else are, is interested. Ji, kuch aur log bhi bolie. Uh, that has given a lot of uh, response. So now we need the uh, help of other pers other students. What exactly we are doing? When bridges means unbalanced and then we are balancing what we are doing. Anyway, when uh, when uh, means uh, what is that uh, the the you can say um, condition of the bridge that you say that bridge is balanced. So the ratio of the resistance on the one side will be equal to that of the other. Means if there are four resistance, R one R two. Means there is null deflection in the galvanometer, then uh, we say that bridge is balanced, and then. Uh, under bridge balance condition, whatever you are saying that the ratio of the um, resistances are equal, uh, so that uh, so so under what condition uh, you will get the null deflection? Means I'm I'm just talking about the detector arm. What is the condition that will be satisfied by the the bridge? especially the the part detector part of the circuit bridge circuit so it will ensure that the no current should flow wo kaun si condition hai jiski wajah se koi current nahi detector mein flow karega acha koi bata sakta hai ki what is the condition sir potential difference sir potential
this i really want to uh, know from you people uh, so i'm happy that you are able to explain so whenever under whatever i mean we are taking the different value of the bridge uh, um, arm resistances and then we manipulate it and uh, whenever it satisfy the condition means when we are having a suitable set of values that makes the potential difference across the detector arm zero then there will because current always flows from the higher potential to lower potential if there is a potential difference only then your current will flow and if there is no potential difference then current won't flow so by means we we try to means for balancing the bridge we try to make the uh, detector terminals at the uh, same potential or uh, the potential difference be between the detector term terminals we try to make it zero so that's what we do so here this is a typical you can say that uh, uh, bridge equation uh, sorry wheat stone bridge and it is having four arms uh, p q r s typically the p and q is called uh, um, uh, ratio arms and uh, s is basically standard res variable resistance and um, r is your unknown resistance um, it, it, well it is not necessary generally it, it is so uh, you can have any you can have a rs here or pq and this is on, only matter of but in any way one of the resistance will be unknown resistance so the, the vt stone bridge is used for measurement of and it is considered as one of the best method i'm telling you now what what i was telling that we try to take the set of uh, these uh, these um, uh, resistances so that the potential difference across the detector arm should be should be zero so what is the meaning meaning is that oh sorry uh, it is not necessary that these two arms, these two terminals of the detector should be at the ground potential. No. If this, this is sitting at the 5 volt and this is also sitting at the 5 volt, then uh, no current will flow. And uh, means, uh, means, means uh, because, because uh, the potential difference is 0 volt. Uh, this is this terminal and both. So what, what we do means, uh, means generally what happens, we are having PQ that is uh, having a fixed value and then um, uh, this is unknown. So with the help of this um, known variable standard resistance, uh, we vary this resistance to make the bridge balance. And uh, what exactly we do, we try to make that terminal for, uh, for these three set of values when we vary it. Uh, we try to make the potential difference across the galvanometer zero and once it will become zero then your bridge will be balanced and this these four resistance when the bridge is balanced these four resistance will satisfy this equation it is called bridge balance equation so when it satisfies this equation then uh, then obviously um, uh, uh, if any of these four resistances are unknown then we can calculate the uh, unknown resistance in term of, terms of these known resistances. So this is this is what is the method, and what is the meaning of uh, bridge balancing. Now uh, derivation we'll discuss here derivation of uh, bridge uh, balance. So here you can see that um, uh, if your bridge is balanced, so obviously whatever current which is coming here it will go here because no current will go through through the galvanometer or the detector arm. So I1 will be equal to I3 and I2 will be equal to I4. So if I am saying that these two terminals are sitting at the same potential, so I1 P will be equal to I2 R or I3 Q is equal to I2 uh, I4 S. So I'm from the both side you can you can uh, means you can I am taking these two I, I1 P is equal to I2 R. So so you see when the bridge is balanced then uh, these two uh, pq will be in series and rs will be series and these series combination will be parallel to each other so the voltage across these uh, uh, these um, uh, resistances will be same because they are in parallel and they are connected across the supply e so we can write uh, i1 is equal to i3 is equal to e upon p plus q that's what I had written here. And similarly, here we can write for this part, 
we can write i2 is equal to i4 is equal to e1 all these equation what i am whatever i am writing it is only valid when your bridge is balanced when your bridge is unbalanced then these equations are not valid so now i am putting i1 uh, and i2 values here in terms of e and p um, pq and rs and then we'll simplify it so ee will get cancelled so uh, after cross multiplication we'll have pr um, uh, uh, means we'll have uh, uh, ps uh, just a minute uh, p upon q p uh, r upon r plus s so pr and pr will get cancelled uh, means uh, incorrectly i i cancel this pr pr will get cancelled so uh, uh, PS is equal to uh, QR, uh, so this is this is not correct. Um, uh, I'll make it correct. So I'm not able to get anyway. So this is not PR, the PS. So ultimately, we are able to find P upon Q is equal to R upon S. So this is how these. Uh, so we can we can start from here also. Uh, I three Q is equal to I four S, and then we'll get the same. We'll converge to the same. Um, balance equation. So when the bridge is balanced, then the value of these four resistances will satisfy uh, this equation. Or other way around, when when value of these four resistance will dis, uh, satisfy this equation, only then your bridge will be balanced. And then, so now I'm coming to the limitation of uh, your previous uh, method, that is your substitution method. I'm, I'm talking about the excitation. Uh, so, does excitation affect uh, variation in excitation affect this method? G. Now I'm asking this question to you. No, sir. What do you mean by no, sir? What do you mean? You, sp you speak about it, sir. Because whatever the voltage we will apply. Sir, in the balance condition, and the current will not going to flow through the galvanometer. So it's all about the balancing, and uh, it doesn't matter about because sir, because the final condition that we have for the balancing is uh, independent of the voltage. Where we can see this this sentence I want to uh, to listen that uh, in this method, once your bridge is balanced, uh, so it will remain balanced even if there is change in uh, excitation. So your your bridge balance will get disturbed only when there is a change in any of these resistances. It won't be affected by the change in excitation. Once your bridge is balanced, so the values these res because because you see balance equation is not is it is independent of the uh, voltage excitation. So this balance equation will not get disturbed because of the change in excitation. So balance so Wheatstone bridge is considered as a method for measurement of medium resistance which is not affected by uh, by variation in excitation so whatever problem we were having uh, in uh, substitution method limitation we are having in substitution method that is not uh, means uh, present here in the uh, Wheatstone bridge method so Wheatstone bridge method is considered as a uh, very good method so it is considered as a uh, uh, very good method for measurement of uh, medium resistance and even this is although this is very good method for measurement of medium resistance but if you are using this method without any alteration for measurement of low and high resistance it will result into the erroneous means it is not it will become it will give you the erroneous, uh, erroneous result why why it is so we'll discuss later on when we'll discuss high and low resistance measurement because of they are having different set of issues although those issues are present in medium resistance measurement also but they are not that much pronounced so so this is this is uh, considered as one of the best method for measurement of low resistance uh, sorry, measurement of medium resistance. Now, if anybody is having any, any question regarding whatever I spoke about the wheat stone bridge till now, you can ask, please.
anyway but as i told you uh, at the starting when i started uh, this unit that resistance measurement is not only the measurement of uh, please listen very carefully whatever i am speaking uh, although it is not concept but it is a kind of uh, applicational feel that you should have only then you will be able to understand so in this case um, as far as vt stone bridge is concerned um, means resistance uh, uh, measurement is concerned it is not only the discrete resistance but the it, it is it is also these are these methods are also applied for the measurement of sensor resistance when the sensor is resistive sensor uh, is sensing certain parameter so when your if now i'm coming back to to this circuit now if your this resistance is a sensor eh? this resistance r is a sensor unknown resistance is basically not a constant discrete resistance but it is a sensor so this sensor uh, may be sensing a uh, certain static uh, resistance uh, static uh, parameter means parameter is not changing with time or it may be sensing certain dynamic parameter when the parameter is changing with time so when this even dynamic parameter is uh, changing with time is not uh, very fast then there is no issue but if if the dynamic parameter is changing at very fast rate then by the time you will because this is resistance and um, this resistance will be variable resistance then you know this resistance will be variable resistance then sensor resistance and sensing the vari variable suppose uh, suppose it is a strain gauge so it is uh, uh, measuring the strain and this strain is not uh, constant but it is uh, static but it is variable so this resistance so by, by the time you are balancing the bridge your resistance value your uh, strain value will change and your resistance value will change so this the the, the way that i had described here uh, the the operational the way i had explained here uh, for measurement of uh, resistance it is good when when means application of uh, vt stone bridge for measurement of resistance it is good when the resistance uh, your resistance uh, is static means your parameter is static uh, with reference to the sensor i'm talking about so when it is static or or it is changing at the the, the at very slow rate then this mode of operation of vt stone bridge is good and this is this is this mode of operation whatever i explained just now here it is called null mode it is called null mode of operation because we are what what we are doing we are nulling the reflection it is called null mode this is this null mode is considered as a best method for means this null mode is best mode uh, as far as the um uh, vt stone bridge uh, method is concerned for measurement of medium resistance but it 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 is not good when your your um, resistance which which you are measuring it, it is varying in response to certain stimulus certain certain parameter sensing parameter then it is not possible to measure the resistance unknown resistance when it is that it is dynamic in nature and it is changing with time very fastly then this null mode of operation of vt stone bridge is not suitable ye jo humne abhi thodi si baat aapko batane ki koshish ki hai uh, are you able to understand yes sir yes sir ab dekh hum aapko ek example dete hain aapne aap sabne i don't know aap log जो लोग दिल्ली के हैं इस इलाके के हैं जामिया के तो मोदी मिल फ्लाईओवर देखा होगा आपने या कोई भी फ्लाईओवर है है ना तो उसके ऊपर से व्हीकल पास होती एंड इफ वी वांट टू वी वांट द द स्ट्रेन प्रोफाइलिंग ऑफ दिस फ्लाईओवर तो क्या करेंगे हम एक स्ट्रेन गेज लगा देंगे एक स्ट्रेटेजिक पॉइंट पे तो जब व्हीकल पास होगी उसके ऊपर से 
तो तो उसका जो है स्ट्रेन चेंज होगा और स्ट्रेन चेंज होगा तो स्ट्रेन गेज का रेजिस्टेंस चेंज होगा अब आप समझ सकते हैं कि जब ड्यूरिंग पीक आवर्स व्हीकल आर गेटिंग पास एट वेरी हाई पेस सो अकॉर्डिंगली योर रेजिस्टेंस विल चेंज एट वेरी हाई रेट दिस रेजिस्टेंस विल चेंज एंड बाई द टाइम यू बैलेंस द ब्रिज फॉर वन सेट ऑफ व्हीकल अनदर सेट ऑफ व्हीकल विल कम and uh, this way by the time you are not able to even uh, uh, balance the previous uh, for previous set, setting for previous set of vehicle uh, another set of vehicle has come so this null mode of the operation will not work are you able to understand whatever i am i am trying to explain you yes sir so there is another mode of operation for the wheat stone bridge it is called deflection mode so null mode it's very popular you had already um, seen uh, you, you you are already aware of it and uh, although another mode of operation that is called deflection mode this is also you, you are aware of it it also this is not a big d and this is not a rocket science this is a small and 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 you can say that common uh, sen common sense uh, means Uh, means suppose uh, we want uh, we want to uh, make uh, uh, we want that we 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 the stone bridge we want for measurement of dyna dynamic uh, resistance so in that case what is done what is done uh, we don't balance the bridge this is your we the stone bridge rather we unbalance the bridge तो ये आपका पी क्यू आर एस सो वट इज डन सपोज आई एम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रेन प्रोफाइलिंग ऑफ अ फ्लाई ओवर देन वॉट वी डू दिस इज योर स्ट्रेन गेज स्ट्रेन सेंसर सो वेन देर इज नो व्हीकल ऑन द ब्रिज देन इट विल बी रिलैक्स फॉर्म देर विल नॉट बी एनी स्ट्रेन so it will have certain value now what we do we take uh, three more resistance of same value fixed resistance of same value so obviously when there is no strain when your strain gauge is relaxed so your bridge will be balanced and then i am giving you one example here then obviously the voltage potential difference across the detector arm will be zero this delta v will be zero and when there is means then vehicle will come then obviously this this resistance will change and your bridge will become unbalanced and then you will start getting certain value across this detector arm certain voltage or certain current you understanding what i'm saying so so this way of use and and this this voltage or current across the the detector arm is basically proportional to the amount of strain or amount of change in this resistance from the from the balance value so this is this is what we yes please this is what we means this is the mode of operation which is used for the for the dynamic um, to sense to measure the uh, variable resistance means when the, the, the resistance change is dynamic obviously in response to we are talking about the sensor situations sensor sensor applications so this mode of operation here uh, me in null mode we we balance the bridge here initially your bridge is balanced but when there is a change in resistance so your bridge will become unbalanced and then we me instead of measuring the resistances we measure the uh, degree of unbalance in terms of the unbalanced voltage either unbalanced voltage across the detector arm or unbalanced current through the detector so this mode of operation is called deflection so is it fine to all of you Yes, sir. Now, 
obviously in this case we are not uh, trying to make the bill balance so so whatever change that will take place uh, that will be reflected here and that uh, that is the response that so so this uh, deflection mode of operation there are two type of uh, 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 bridge one is called voltage sensitive bridge other is called current sensitive bridge this is also very simple when the detector is detector when when we are using a uh, bridge in deflection mode then uh, uh, if detector is a voltage sensitive detector means voltage sensitive detector means the detector is having very large internal resistance like a voltmeter if we are being, we are putting here so in that case uh, uh, we will call it uh, the um, uh, voltage sensitive bridge and when we are using a current sensitive detector means the detector whose internal resistance is very less very small like galvanometer then we call it a current sensitive bridge so in deflection mode we can have a uh, voltage sensitive bridge or we can have we, it it depends upon uh, our choice uh, as per the requirement it may be a current uh, sensitive bridge or it may be a voltage sensitive bridge dep depending how what kind of um, detector we are using so it is fine to all of you yes sir yes sir okay so so in this case uh, mm, now you see whatever advantage whatever uh whatever advantage uh, that uh, this uh, this uh, particular uh, um, mode of uh, i'm asking one question you think about that although i'm i'm just asking the question uh, that uh, whatever advantage uh, this null mode of operation was offering as far as the variation in excitation is concerned that is extended here or not we, this deflection mode is also having that privilege or not can anybody tell me otherwise we will see so can you repeat the question means the Null mode of operation of VT stone bridge is having privilege of uh, independence from the uh, excitation variation. Will that privilege this deflection mode will have? What is your guess? Yes, sir. It will have. Yes. Sir. Okay. We'll see. We'll see then. Now I'll discuss the. Uh, first of all, I'm discussing the voltage sensitive bridge. You know, voltage sensitive bridge. So here you can see that this is the voltage sensitive bridge. Here the detector arm we are using here the voltage sensitive detector. So what is the attribute of a voltage sens sensitive detector? That its internal resistance should be very high. So we are assuming that it is infinitely high and, and, and your detector arm is open. Now, uh, you know that uh, you know, when the detector arm is open, so we'll get delta V voltage across, across the detector arm. And this delta V will be zero, obviously, when your bridge is balanced. Now, uh, voltage divider uh, uh, means this is a voltage divider. A delta V will be the voltage uh, here minus voltage here. So here voltage is I'm taking voltage across the uh, R minus voltage across the P. And yeah, those dono series may uh, in this case whether bridge is balanced or bridge is not balanced, these currents will remain same because because your detector arm is open. So 
voltage across p will uh, r will be r upon r plus s into v where v is your supply voltage because these two are parallel so this is this is we are talking about the voltage sensitive weight storm bridge one of the configuration one of the uh, configuration uh, in 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 ultimate aim it to find out the sensitivity we'll, we'll come to that but i'm not at that at the onset i'm only saying that we are analyzing the voltage sensitive with stone bridge when the bridge circuit is used in deflection mode so this is the uh, this is the voltage uh, across r and this is the voltage across p so this minus this uh, now uh, when the bridge is balanced, obviously these two ratios will be equal. Right? P upon P plus Q will be equal to R upon R plus S. This will be equal. So when the bridge is balanced, so delta V obviously will be zero. But when bridge is not balanced, means suppose this is uh, R is changed from R plus delta R then uh, we'll have certain value for delta v your bridge will become unbalanced uh, so that's what i had written here uh, here so then we will simplify it it has been simplified yeah. simplification here simple simplification then finally we 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 reach to this expression this is the exact expression that uh, um, your delta v in a voltage sensitive bridge whatever voltage that will appear across the detector arm this is the expression for that so it depends upon many many parameters like delta r standard resistance value arm resistance values and delta now we'll make certain approximation as per the uh, so generally you will find that in sensor applications the change in resistance is uh, very small this delta r generally very small in in most of the cases you will find it. so when it is very small then obviously uh, we if we compare the compare the uh, sorry so delta this term will be small in comparison to this square term so we can neglect this term in comparison to this term so this uh, approximation is made so now finally delta v in the voltage sensitive bridge the the response voltage is equal to so in this case if you look uh, now now that, that question I'm, i'll ask again so now if you look uh, closely here uh, whatever this is a response here means you by measuring the delta v uh, we can measure the change in resistance delta r so we will consider this is this is valid only when we'll consider all other parameters are constant so as far as r and s is concerned it is constant what is v what is v applied voltage applied so here in this case your applied voltage is appearing in the final expression response expression so if there is any change because what for measuring delta r we are measuring delta v so this delta v is dependent upon delta r as well as ex at the excitation voltage so whatever privilege we are having in case of the uh, null mode of operation that will obviously lose in deflection mode but we are gaining another thing that this delta r whatever change that will take place chai jitni speed se r change hoga your voltage will follow your 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 response will follow it so so this in in deflection mode uh, your Wheatstone bridge uh, is not independent of the variation in the um, uh, excitation, but it can uh, follow the response. Its response can follow the change in resistance or change in variable, which is we are we are measuring with the help of uh, resistive resistive sensor. So this is this is what uh, I want to show you. Then this is not the final objective. Our final objective is bridge sensitivity that we'll discuss uh, on the next turn. So anyway, this uh, this uh, expression uh, will uh, next time we'll start our discussion with this expression. If you are having any doubt, you can uh, discuss that on the next turn. So I'm closing today's discussion here. Now respond your roll call, please.